quad stretching standing. If you find something that's just a bit lower than hip distance, put your foot on it. Now you want to hop forwards so that your knee is behind your hip. Squeezing with your bum, pushing into your hip joint. You feel the stretch all the way down the front of the leg and into the knee. If you want to make it harder, you can hop your knee for your foot on the floor forward a bit more so that your knee is further behind you. Push forward with your hip joint and you can take your arm of that side up in the air and reach over to create more of a stretch. Reaching up and over. You need to make sure that the foot on the floor is at 90 degrees to your pelvis. You want to keep your pelvis pointing straight to the ground so that you're bending the leg in the pelvis. That bend there. You don't want to be compressing in the lower back and keeping the pelvis with the knee and having the bend here. Equally, you don't want to be having the foot so that it's close to the bum and the bend is in the forward bend with the thigh bone. All that does is compresses the knee because this muscle here and the hamstring pry the knee apart so it causes tension in the knee joint itself. You need to make sure that the knee is behind the, the perpendicular, sorry, the vertical line of your body. You want to stand in neutral spine, shoulders back and down, drawing in the core, holding the pelvis in neutral, letting that leg fall behind you. You can do this without a bench by holding with your hand, but there is a tendency to keep the knee forward. So you need to make sure that the knee goes behind you and that you are pushing the hips forward as you pull the foot up or the knee back. It's a little harder doing it freestanding. 